Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. White up, chalacha. I mean the ufe sala with round smoked fish. Good evening, Papa. Ah. Good evening, Papa. My darling. How are you? Fine. My daughter, you are welcome back. Thank you, ma'am. So, how was today's catechism? It was fine, Mama. Especially after answering several questions from our catechism teacher. I now realize I'm ready for heaven. Really? Oh, yes, Mama. Can you believe that none of my mates were able to answer questions? They are not in good terms with God. Which one is good terms? My daughter, I don't understand. I don't. Which one is good terms? How does one be in good terms with God? It's simple, but not very simple. The Ten Commandments, that is your only passport to heaven. And with that, you can be in good terms with God. It's all right. But then, your mother and I have been trying our best. We are trying our best to keep the Ten Commandments. Speaking of the Ten Commandments, which can you remember? You see, I know you can't remember any. So how can you keep what you can't remember? Okay, since memory has failed you, let me help you out. I will list out the Ten Commandments and you will indicate which you can remember. You shall have no other God but me. You shall make no idols. You shall not call the name of your Lord God in vain. You shall remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You shall not commit murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. Huh? You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And finally, you shall not covet. So you see, you are not as ready as I am, for I have kept all of these. See? Why are you seated here alone? Sit down. Come and sit down. My wife, I've been thinking. I've been thinking about what our daughter told us when she came back from church. See, she reminded us of uh, how unprepared how uncaring, how unworthy we are to God. And it is a shameful thing. Uh, my husband, don't tell me you are giving a thought to what that little child said. If Oma is just a little child, yeah? uh, that's Ten Commandments. I don't think it's going to be possible for anybody to keep it. I don't think so. It is possible. Yeah. It is possible. It is not as difficult as people think. It's just that human beings have become so uncaring, therefore not even observing the Ten Commandments anymore. very well that I have cheated so many people in just my business as a butcher. Oh, my husband, you have not cheated anybody. You are only doing your business. Or would you have dashed out the meat you are selling to people in order for you to make heaven? Eh? I don't think you, have cheated, you are cheating anybody. 
you're only doing business. Yes. But I would have still made an attempt not to cheat, thereby living a holy life. I don't even know if I should continue with this business again. Eh? I feel so ashamed of myself. So ashamed that it's my little daughter that is pelling out my sins before me. <sighs> My husband, I don't know why you allow that girl to get at you. If Mama is just a little girl, ignore her. Eh? I know that when she grows up, eh, she will realize that that Ten Commandments is not easy to keep. Mm. Please, don't quit that business. Oh. That is the only source of our livelihood. I feel, I feel, I feel so dirty. Mm. I feel so dirty inside me. That my little daughter, who I supposed to be teaching the way of Christ, is the one leading me to Christ. I want to make amend. I want to make amend. Mama, I'm off to the stream. Ify, please come. I am not really happy the way you spoke to your father and I when you returned from catechism today. You made us look as if we were pagans. Ah, but Mama, I was only reminding you and Papa how unprepared you are for heaven. Why isn't heaven what we are all after? Everybody is aspiring to go to heaven. But you know that Ten Commandments, they are not easy to keep. Especially when you are already saddled with responsibilities of life. Mama, I don't understand though. I know you will not understand because you are still a child. But when you grow up, you will understand. Mama, anybody can die at any point in time. And if they have not kept the commandments, do you think they can make heaven? Mama, I don't need to wait till I grow up before I prepare for heaven and do the right things. Mama, won't you be proud if I become a saint when I die? I will be proud. I am not against you living a righteous life. My daughter, you will not die now. Uh, you, will, you will live for us. You still have many more years to live. Well, I pray I live long enough in holiness. But if I'll ever deviate from the commandments, let me die before I do. Oh, oh, oh. You will not die. You will live for your father and I. Go and fetch water. Please, take this easy. I really need to see how unprepared my parents are about heaven. Are you saying they've not been keeping their commandments? <laughs> not even one of them. Eh? Well, my parents are at least better off than yours. I read the commandments before them, and from their response, they've kept only five out of ten. Then they're progressing. Nkechi? If the trumpet should sound now, none of our parents are ready. We need to work hard and change them. How? By constantly reminding them of the commandments. I know we can win this. Let's go. It's not by your good word. It's only by I heard that the parish want to buy a new car for him. I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, my sister. It's all right. Uh, take care of yourself. Mama, where are you coming from? I'm coming from the church, my daughter. I went for confession. Hmm. What a waste of time. Why did you say that? Mama, you should really be tired of going to confession by now. When you fully know well that you'll be going to that same thing in a matter of hours. What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? Who told you that I'll go back to that same thing? What is wrong with you? Mama, put yourself in God's shoes and tell me how possible you think it will be for you to continue forgiving same sin over and over again. Will you shut up, dear? Come on, let's go home before you start with this your sanctimonious rants. Let's go! Mama, you know I'm telling you the truth though.
don't blame me. I didn't see you at the market yesterday. What happened? Now, brother, some days are like that. <laughs> Hold on. Of all the days of the week, you chose not to come to market on Mpon Market Day. You needed to see how your fellow butchers were jubilating. After selling the meat, they came to market. With, you know, they don't normally sell until you finish selling. It. Eh? I thought something was really wrong. Bro. My brother, I wouldn't lie to you. Something was really Wrong. What could that be? Onyeka, I want to leave that business. <laughs> no, you can't say that. You want to leave which business? Let's go somewhere and discuss it. Can I ever be as holy as a former? As holy as one. That one, that one that is so full of herself. But everyone seems to like her. I'm struggling to be like her. My paper is like her. Well, that's because they're yet to know the real her. She greets nobody, and I also heard that she does nothing at all for her parents. I don't believe this. If I keep the Ten Commandments. Will I go to heaven? <coughs> and even if I oh, Mama, welcome back. Uh, my daughter, uh, please, come and bring the axe. Let me break the firewood and start cooking. Mama, I've done that already. Done what? The firewood is ready. Okay, uh, uh, come and bring out the pot. Let me wash it and start cooking. Mama, I've washed the pot already. What about the vegetable and the... Mama, everything is said. Just go in and cook. <laughs> My daughter, you are a good girl. I am proud of you. Okay, let me go and start cooking immediately. Why not come with me? Um, Mama, I'm meditating on the word now, but I'll join you soon. Eh. See, I don't care, I don't mind what people say Cause I wanna go to heaven Let me understand you. You mean to tell me you want to leave this meat selling business? <sighs> yes. I have not told my wife, but I have made up my mind. You made up your mind to starve your family? No. My family won't starve. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. How much do you think you have saved that will be enough for you and your entire family till eternity? But I've never said I won't join another business. I will. <laughs> you want to start a new business and start building from the scratch? Eh? Onoche, don't disappoint me. Come on, you've not even asked me why I want to quit this business. And I don't care. Onoche, you are a successful meat seller. Eh? I'm even planning to come and learn this business from you so I can be as successful as you are. Oyeka, there are things in life that are more important than the wealth of this life. Whatever thing you're saying, I'm not in support of that. That is my final answer. <sighs>
My daughter, what is going on? Mama, I'm taking the food to a beggar I met on my way back from the stream. Hi. You should have told me to give you food. Eh? To save another food so that you take to the person. No, Mama. I know we don't have much in the house. And it's also a sin to overfeed oneself. So I'm fine. But you have not eaten anything from the food. I know, Mama. But it's better to share with the poor and earn a place in heaven than to eat everything now and spend eternity in hell. You are mad. So you did not see me. Adora, what is it? So it has gotten to the point of addressing me by my name. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is it? Come here. You saw me. And I did not look older enough for you to greet me, right? I will slap you now. It's greeting now by force. Please. Get behind me, Satan. I don't want trouble. Come here, come here. Who did you call Satan? Wait, have you seen Satan before? Why would you call me Satan? I will so deal with you. Thank God I met you. Yes, did your husband tell you anything? My husband? No, I don't understand. Well, I thought you've gotten home already. I was with him not long ago. Hmm? Maybe when you get home, he will tell you about his demented decision. Demented decision? What are you saying? Look, don't accept anything he tells you. Don't. I know how you people suffered when you relocated back to this village. Eh? Before he became a butcher. I mean... Please, be careful and stop him from destroying himself. I'm just telling you as his friend. Destroying himself? Onyeka, what are you saying? Your husband is the right person to tell you this and not Onyeka. My candid advice is don't accept whatever he tells you, as you will regret it. Do you know how many people that wants to be in his position? I'm sure he doesn't know. <laughs> well... I'm just trying to protect my friend from self-destruction. Talk to him. You shouldn't have fought her. What were you thinking? She asked that I should greet her. You should have just greeted her and passed. Have you forgotten she's my uncle's daughter? And my family and theirs aren't in good terms. So because of that now you've designed yourself heaven? No, you former. I don't want to go to hell, please. I don't want to go to hell. Am I God? <laughs> it's between you and God. But just know that I'm disappointed. And so is God. You've got all that you've kept holy. To dent yourself with sin again. I can't be here with you, please. No, please. If you please, please don't go. Let's look for a solution to this. I need to make peace with God again. I'm sorry, Nkechi. You had your chance at being holy, but you chose to sin. Deal with it. I'm out. Good day. My name is Ebube. And I really love and admire your lifestyle in this village. Can we be friends? Was that why you stopped me? Look, I don't mingle with sinners like you. You should meet a priest for proper confession before coming close to me.
but but herself. Maybe she's right. I need confession and restitution for my sin. There you go again. She doesn't need you. Simple. You let go for confession. I think what I'm telling you is true. Pushing home so that we could go to the farm as we planned. I met your friend Onyeka on the way, and he told me something very disturbing. Something so disturbing? What did he tell you? I am waiting for you here to come home and, and tell me. Tell me exactly what you told him that made him so paranoid that he asked me never to allow you to carry out your decision. Oh, 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 oh. That? It's not, it's, not, it's not a big problem. I just told him I want to quit the business. What business? I don't understand. What business? I don't want to be a butcher anymore. I don't want to get myself involved in that meat business again. I don't. Eh? Have you discovered a better business? Uh, not really. Not really, but I want to concentrate on my farm work. Then do things that will please God. Okay. You and I know that farm business barely takes care of our needs. It takes care of our stomach though. But what about other needs? May I even ask you, how have you not been pleasing God? Because I need to know. How? Eh? You won't understand. See, in this business, I cheat people a lot. I cheat people a lot, and that is affecting my Christian life. And I don't want to... Uh, I don't uh, please want to stop. stop! Can you just listen to yourself? What has come over you? Eh? I can't believe this. How can you suddenly start seeing yourself as the worst now in this village? Oh, because of what our daughter said? How can you allow her to get to you with those words? She is only a child. I am disappointed in you. Nonsense. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama, you're home. Good afternoon. I don't want you having that discussion you had with your father and I ever again in this house. What discussion, Mama? The discussion of the Ten Commandments and going to heaven. I don't want you to ever mention it in this house again. Especially to the hearing of your father. Papa. But what has Papa got to do with this, Mama? Because of your words. Your father is planning to quit his business. Saying that butcher business is making him to commit sin. But, Mama... The Bible said that if your right hand will make you not to enter heaven, then it's best you cut it off than to... Will you shut up? You are only a child. What do you know about survival? Okay, why did God institute confession? Because he is aware that the Ten Commandments will be difficult for people to, to keep. We all make mistakes. And need God's forgiveness. And not instilling fear of going to hell in your father. But Mama, I'm not the one that asked Papa to make the decision of quitting his business. I'm innocent here. Oh. You better talk to your father. You better talk to him, oh. Because if your father quits his business, the kind of hunger we are going to suffer in this house. Don't worry. You will see something. That's your heaven, eh? You, you will suffer on earth before going to that heaven. Hey! Hey, what? What do you Hey! 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 You get it? Hey, where, where do you go? You can't you give me? Hey! Poison! You want to kill yourself? Hey! Hey! You get you? How? Hey! Where, 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 where do you go? Hey! Hey! You get you? Do you want to kill yourself? 
Out. Now, listen and listen good. Stay away from my daughter. Are you listening? But, Ma, I can't remember doing anything to her. Like I said, stay away from my daughter. She won't die this afternoon for your sake. Eh? You demented child. Stay away from her. Do you hear me? Are you listening? I will still speak to your mother. One sec. I am not joking. It's no joke. I need that money. Uh -uh. I'm not here. I told you I use this money for business. When did he? Be patient. Huh? Me, be patient. And my own money. Be patient. <laughs> Listen, I don't want the whole village to gather for us. I need that money. I need it. I get money to, uh, to keep for me and now you're telling me, be patient. You what for? You gave me money to keep for you. As your personal allocate or what? How can you give me money without touching it? Are you not into Akao business? Isn't that what you do? You collect money to keep for people with commission. And I gave you mine. Keep for me. Now I want it and you're telling me rubbish. By the way, what did you use that money for? Okay, since you want to know. Hmm? I used it to purchase palm oil in large quantities Chimo. that I want to sell this Christmas and New Year. Chimo. Good day, sir. Hey, uh, good day. Uh -huh, nah. See how you risked my money? You're not thinking. What if by the time you want to sell this oil and the price fall down? What will happen? How will you recover the money? Onoche, calm down. The price will not come down. <laughs> not a while. <laughs> Onoche, relax. I will pay you your money. How much is that? Huh? I will pay you your money now. How much is that? I do go. I was just coming from your house. I went to get some drugs. I'm having a slight headache. It's your daughter, Ifoma. Eh? My daughter and Keji almost took her life this afternoon. What? God forbid. Why would she do a thing like that? My dear, my daughter said she said. And after talking to your daughter about it, do you know what your daughter did? Your daughter condemned her as if she was already doomed for hellfire. Eh? And because of that, my daughter attempted suicide. All because she thinks she has failed God. Hey. Oh my gosh. Your daughter made her believe she has lost heaven and there is no hope for her. Listen, Adu. Please, go home and warn your daughter for me. Let her stay away from my daughter. Please. Eh? She's a bad influence on her. Let her continue in her holiness. Let her stop condemning people. Eh? I don't like this so I don't like it at all. I don't. I don't like it. What your daughter? Oh. with uh, Reverend Sister Omen Ma of our parish and she told me that the convent is already opened for the new intake. Mama, I don't understand. You are going into the convent. The convent? But Mama, I want to be a doctor, not a Reverend Sister. Oh, you want to be a doctor? When last did you read your books in this house? All you read is Bible. Because that's where God's words are found. Uh -huh. That is why I said you are better off a Reverend Sister. So that you marry Jesus and do all that pleases him. But Mama, I... Enough! Have you heard that your friend in Kechi almost took her own life this afternoon? All because you made her believe that she has failed God. What? She tried clean herself. Like I said, I am sending you to the convent and that is final.
Ifama. Ifama. Ah, come, you're crying. Come, 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 my daughter, come. You're crying. What is it? Papa, can you believe Mama wants to send me to the convent? To the convent? Why? Yes, Papa. Can you imagine? I told her I wanted to become a medical doctor, but she said the Reverend Sister is better for me. Ah. Is that why you are crying? <laughs> it's okay. Papa, I'm about to commit the sin of disobedience. Please, talk to Mama, please. Okay. I'm begging you, please. It's okay, it's okay. I'll talk to your mother. I'll talk to your mother. Stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Uh, but my daughter, I was thinking that being a reverend sister would be more befitting of this, your pious nature. No, Papa, no, 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 please. I want to become a medical doctor. That has always been my dream, please. Okay. <laughs> I just think I'll talk to you. Please. I will talk to your mother. Eh? I'll talk to you. Mama, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't know what came over me. Please forgive me. Okay, Chi. Okay, Chi. You know you are the only thing left for me in this world. Why do you want to turn me into a childless widow? Eh? Why are you such a wicked girl? Mama, I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. That is the only thing you know. Did the Bible teach you to commit suicide? Is that what the Bible teaches you? No, Mama. Okay, Chi. Don't you know that suicide is a grievous sin? Very grievous. I know, Mama. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you have to start by disassociating yourself from that girl, Ifoma. Because she's a deceiver. I don't even know what she told you that made you decide to take away your own life. Your own life. That girl is evil. And I don't want to see you anywhere around her again. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mama. Are you listening? Yes, Mama. Good. Henceforth, you won't be spending much time in the church. You will be home here doing house chores and helping me, your mother. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mama. Are you listening very well? Yes, Mama. Hold your two ears so that I'll make sure that what I'm saying is entering. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mama. Very good. You can go inside. I get crayfish for me, dear. Can you imagine? Can you imagine me? Eh? I told him I need the money I've been saving with him to start up a business. But he's telling me it's not available. I don't understand. A business? Hi. You can don't tell me that you are still serious about leaving your mis-selling business. <laughs> Look. I don't want it. I am the man of this house, the head of this home, and I have the right to do whatever thing I think suits this home. I have been saving money with Onyeka for some time now, as my only little way of supporting his Akawo business. I know about it. Yeah, but now I am asking him to give me the money and he's saying he invested it. Then be patient with him. Huh? Let him make a little profit from the money. Profit again? Profit again? Didn't he ask me to bring commission? I gave him commission when I gave him that money. So, which other profit are you talking about? I am telling you this because I will deal with him. I will deal with him, oh. Uh, please, calm down. It has not gotten to this. Why not stick to your mis-selling business while you wait for Nyeka, your friend?
We have a loving mother. We have a loving mother. Where are you coming from, Ifoma? Mama, good morning. That does not answer my question. I said, where are you coming from? Mama, I I was conducting block rosary. Then after we went for Legion of Men. Will you shut up? You forgot you have chores to do at home. There is no water in the house. The place are all dirty. And you were busy in the church. But Mama, it's the church. I was doing the work of my Heavenly Father. Shut up. Save those things inside. Clean the bucket, go and fetch water. Ifoma, you are gradually getting on my nerves. Soon I will ban you from going to that church. Since you have sold your brain to them. But Mama... Shut up! Take those things inside and go and fetch water. What are you doing here? I've come to see Ifoma. For what? Did your mother not want you to stay away from her? But she's my friend. She is not your friend. And I support your mother for stopping you from seeing her. Especially after you sheepishly attempted suicide. I'm sorry about that. I was lost for a moment. I didn't know what came over me. Leave this place now. Besides, if Ama is not at home, why won't you people make yourself useful? Always looking for one thing or the other from the Bible to do. Do not be deceived. God is everywhere. And no matter how you try, you can never be as perfect as God. You are just a human being. Humans are prone to error. I know. And that's why I want to see Ifoma. I have a lot to tell her. Leave this place now. Don't allow your mother to know that you came here. Oh yeah, leave. Will you get out? direct ticket to hellfire so sad they've lost heaven already and they don't even know this i can't bear witness to this it's better i get very far away from them hey ha ah, where can she be now Mkechi! Hey, where has she gone to? I didn't send her anywhere now. Chalupo. Just coming from your house where I met your mother. You went to my house. How dare you? I know my mom forbade me from seeing you, but I had to. Ifoma, you know you're my friend. I don't think so anymore, Nkechi. If I am your friend, why would you throw the part of sin? For Christ's sake, you almost committed suicide. We should have landed you straight to eternal perdition. I know. But I did that because I thought I failed God. And instead of staying around to see more, I decided to take my life. A very dumb decision. I know. And I regret it. Ifoma, why I really wanted to see you is because you need to understand that we are taking things too far, which almost got me killed. Ifoma, I don't think we understood what God said by keeping the commandments. He knows it's not going to be easy. That's why he's always there to forgive us and give us a second chance. 
What are you saying? I know we want to make heaven. I mean, we are on the race of making heaven and holiness is required of us. But we can't indulge ourselves too much to the point of affecting the way we live and see people. We now condemn people's actions. Acting like judges, forgetting that God is the final judge. Nkechi, what has come over you? I can't believe you're saying this to me. Are you all right? Because he is your friend, and we have been friends for long. That is the more reason I will do it. My husband, what do you want people to say? That you locked up your best friend in the police cell just because of money? You're not getting it. I want to start up a new business, and this man is frustrating me. Then be patient with him. Don't involve the police yet. Oh. You don't want the police. Then let me go and involve the winner. Don't involve anybody. I know he's going to give you your money. I trust him. You trust him? I am telling you how serious this thing is. You're not understanding it. He's not making any effort in paying me this money. Listen, I must show him how serious I am by inviting the police. If you like, stay there. Uh, Nkem? Nkem? Adugu. Adugu. I am here for my daughter. Your daughter? Yes! I will deal with her before your presence. And afterwards, I will go and report your daughter to the Ugwe. Indeed, your daughter is not here. Please excuse me. I have important issues to attend to Biko. Look at now. Does it mean my daughter is not here? Where could that stupid girl be? Ha! Who cares? Onyeka, please, I want you to give my husband that money. He has gone to report the matter to the police, so. And I don't want you people having police case, Biko. You reported the matter to the police. That is going too far. Yes. That's why I say you should give him the money. Give him the money, Biko. Do you remember the reason you asked me to hold on to this money? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was only trying to stop him from engaging into another business. While the one he is doing is still thriving. Uh, but... As it stands now, I have washed off my hands. Well, your husband is a very good friend of mine. Hmm? His well-being is a thing of concern to me. I'll give him the money, but not now. Onyeka, you don't understand. I said he has already gone to the police to report the matter. Let him do his worst. <laughs> eh? I've told him I used the money for business. I'll give it to him. Uh, well, if he, if he can't wait, I'm here. He can come and arrest me and see if his money will come out. Let him be patient. Huh? Don't worry yourself. This money is safe. I'll give it to him at the right time. Oh. Where have you been? I've been searching for you everywhere. Mama, I went to the stream. Without telling me? I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> Do you know I've gone to a farmer's house to look for you? Just thank your stars that I didn't meet you there. Mama, I met you on my way to the stream. Besides, I've already gone to check up on her at her house. What? After telling you not to go to their house again, what is wrong with you? Mama, I went to advise and educate her. Eh? Hey, hey. Advocate and solicitor. <laughs> Senior advisor. Eh? Minister and Commissioner for Education. Educator or what, Biko? Mama, hmm? if I didn't tell her, you know no one can. Say she doesn't keep any friends. I had to remind her how we've been going about this Christianity thing the wrong way. And the too much indulgence in holiness, which almost cost my life. 
I told her that we should slow down and probably make use of our time by balancing the time we spend in church and the time we spend at home to do house chores. I also told her that we should stop condemning people. Hey! <laughs> Wait, you told her all these things? What did she say? Are you okay? Ifoma? What is the problem? Hi. Talk to me, please. Hmm. Mama. God. What happened to her? Did she try taking her life again and succeeded? Mama, it would have been better if she took her life. At least, she should have been in purgatory by now. With the hope of making heaven someday. Than staying here on earth, denying God and Christianity. What are you saying? Is she alive? Of course she's alive. Oh, thank God. But Mama, she's only alive, waiting for hell. Because that's the new place she's heading to. How did you know she's going to hell, you this girl? She denied holiness, Mama. And advised me to do the same. She said we can't spend time with God, reading our Bibles at all times. That we shouldn't condemn people even when they sin before us. She also said that we should associate with people, even sinners too, Mama. Can you imagine? I thank God for her. So all it took was for her to attend suicide in order to restore her common sense. I am happy for her. Mama, what are you saying? What I am saying is that she told you words of wisdom that you ought to have used. Stop condemning people. You are not God. Why not make yourself useful to me for once? At your age, you can't even cook. When I was your age, I was already a professional cook. All you do is study Bible. Telling me who will go to heaven and who will not. You better change. If I'm a change, change it! Mama, I thought you were going to condemn her. How disappointing. Heaven is a place I want to be. And nothing can stand in my way. Nothing! What I go to I don't what know what's happening to your mother. She's standing in my way of making heaven. How? I want to stop the meat selling business. Because in that business, there's a lot of cheating. Instead of her to encourage me, she's advising me to continue against my wish. Now I told her, and I want to start a new business. And she's discouraging me. Well, you're the man of the house. Yes. I know. But sometimes it seems that title is useless. Because once your mother doesn't support anything I want to do, she will never allow me to rest until I succumb to her opinion. Well, Papa, I really don't have anything to say to you right now. If not that the race to heaven is by individual effort. If you put in more effort, you'll get there faster. Papa, there's no better place to be than in heaven. And it's foolish living to please people of the world. And at the end, losing your soul. I'm sure you know what's right for your soul. So do it. And don't forget, I'm not the one that wrote the Bible. Or the Ten Commandments. 
So it's up to you. Is how to live right. I wanna go to heaven. Your daughter came to me the other day and she complained about you. She actually wanted to see the priest, but she met me. What did she say I did to her? She said you threatened to stop her from going to church. Is it true? Seminarian, that girl is becoming useless to me in the house. She barely does any house chores. She's every time in the church. When she returns, hmm, to the Bible. I understand. The church or the Bible doesn't preach laziness. I thought as much. Well, um, I will talk to her. Because no matter how attached she is to God's work, she still needs to spend some time with you at home and help you do some domestic work. Thank yes. you so much, Biko. Talk to her. I will do that. While you should stop threatening her from going to church. Okay? Little girl of her age need to be encouraged. Okay? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of girls who are there at her age who doesn't go to church. They don't know anything about church. But in her own case, she's making tremendous efforts. At least she deserves to be encouraged. Please. Thank you. I've heard you. All right. But please, help me talk to her. I will. Okay? God bless you. Oh, Going to hide it. Onyeka, hear me! Hear me wherever you think you can hide. You cannot run away from me. You cannot go scot free. I must hunt you down. Hunt you down and get my money. You don't eat my money like that. If you like, keep running. I'll get you. Nonsense, man. You get my money, you want to eat it. Oh, come and mourn with me a while. See, Mary calls us to her side. Oh, come and mourn with her a while. Jesus our Lord is crucified. Fifth station. Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And they compelled the passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. I am physically weak. I can no longer bear the cross alone. So they compelled Simon to help me. And indeed, he helps me. Why not you too? Lift the burden from another's back. Each time you do that, you leave the cross awful weight that crushes me. Lord, make me realize that each time I pick up an object off the floor, assist my neighbor in small task, help him do it right. Each time I lend my hand in any way, it matters not whom. My name is Simon. And the kindness I extend to them, I really give to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Mama, I'm hungry. And so? I just went into the kitchen and discovered there's no food there. How? I mean, no food. Why don't you perform miracle and fill the empty pots with food? Mama, I'm hungry and you're saying this. I think there's no food in the house. Ifoma, before I left this house, I asked you to peel the yam. Why didn't you peel the yam? Oh, Mama, I'm hungry and you're saying this. Mama, I'm very hungry. Oh, <laughs> Ifoma, I am hungry and I'm very hungry. Do you want to cry? Before I left this house, I asked you to peel yam. But you chose to pray. See, let me tell you. A prayer without work is useless if you don't know. Until you learn to properly manage the time you use for prayers. And the one you use for chores. You will remain hungry in this house. <laughs> if you like, report me to the seminarian. Report me to anybody you want to report me. I don't care. Nonsense. <laughs> Mama, I'm ready to go to church. Ah, have you washed the pots? Yes, Mama. Did you concentrate on the back? Yes, Mama. Okay, what of the kitchen? Have you arranged everything in the kitchen and cleaned it up? Yes, Mama. Okay. I also washed my clothes and some of yours. I'll be back on time to go to this room and help you prepare dinner. It's okay. <laughs> it is all right. If you have been behaving like this, I won't be having issues with you. Yeah? Even in the Bible, it is well stated that there is time for everything under the sun. Is it not in the book of Ecclesiastes? Exactly, Mama. Chapter 3, verse 1. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, for opening my eyes to the truth. Now, I can spend time in church worrying less about house shows. Because I've already taken care of that. Uh, yeah. But I'll definitely be back on time. It's okay. I want you to learn something nice today. Okay? All right, Mama. And remember to pray for your mommy. All right, Mama. All right. Take care of yourself. All right. <laughs> this girl has changed. Chai. Mm -hmm. At least I'm now happy. Yeah. Hey. My food, do go and rest. My dear, how are you? Good afternoon. Afternoon. I can see you're not in the best of mood. So who is responsible? Please, who are you? Okay. I'm actually here to see your father. Is he around? No. And your mother? She's not at home at the moment. Okay. Can we at least wait for them to return? I mean, if you can offer a seat. I know we're strangers. But we are also human. We don't bite. So please.
Okay, now what is it? Eh? Why is your face like this? Mama, I don't know what's going on. My mate seems to be avoiding me and I don't know why. They've been staying away from me and I still don't know why. Avoiding you? Yes, Mama. None of them want to talk to me or even share anything with me anymore. Hmm. Hmm. I think I know why. Why, Mama? Remember before now, you used to condemn everybody for their actions. Yeah? You were acting holier than them. And this probably made them to hate you and decided to avoid you. Yeah. But I thought they would emulate me. I thought they were actually looking up to me. No, my dear. You were indirectly chasing them away. But don't worry. Eh? It won't be long they will begin to associate with you again. Especially when they discover that you're no longer friends with that informer. That uh, <laughs> and your Michael's sister. <laughs> Is it not? Eh? What do you want me to say? Since she's always acting as if uh, she is holier than everybody, that no one is as holy as she is. Uh -uh. In fact, eh, henceforth, we shall be calling her Sister Angel Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you said you are. I'm Gucci, ma'am. And she's my niece, Uju. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, um, I'm actually here to see your husband. My husband? I hope all is well. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's unfortunate he's not around. Uh, is there anything I should know? Um, Mom, I have something to say to him, but he has to return before I yeah. see him. Yes, ma'am. It's all right. Please sit down. Let me get your water while you wait for him. Thank you, ma'am. It's okay. couldn't have. It was until my sister Oledo <laughs> told me on her deathbed. Deathbed? So, where is she now? She is dead. She's dead. Oledo, my sister, is dead. She said she made you a promise never to divulge your location to anybody all these years. She got married two years ago. She was about having her first baby when she suffered complications and we lost her and her baby. What is going on here? Because I am lost. Who is she? Um, um, she is the sister to Oledo. The girl I first fell in love with. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't marry because she is from Umuchu. It was until I proposed to her that I discovered that. So we couldn't forge ahead with the marriage plans. It was very difficult for me. 
it was very difficult letting her go. We searched and searched for you everywhere. But she couldn't tell us your whereabouts. <sighs> Especially when we found out that she was pregnant after you left her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was pregnant. me to sit there and watch you reunite with your lover. Oh. <laughs> oh, she isn't my lover. It was her sister, remember? She just told me that I have a daughter I never knew of. And how do you want me to feel? You pregnanted a woman before our marriage. How do you want me to feel now? Changed nothing. I am as surprised as you are. But seeing how it is, do we send them away? Yes. Send them away. I don't want them. Exactly what you said. I will send them away. Wait. My wife and I have settled our differences on this matter. Uguchi, thank you for bringing this child to me. I am most grateful. She's welcome to stay with us. Yes. I wasn't happy about this. I am still in shock. But it wasn't my husband's fault. I know my husband would have told me about this if he has a knowledge of it because we never hide any secret from each other. Well, I accept her to live with us, if that's what you want. Oh, God. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. Honestly, I never knew it would be this easy. I've been thinking on how to present this to you a few weeks ago. Because I can show her the responsibility of taking care of her alone. And she needs her father's care now that her mother is no more. I appreciate. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Come on. Come, 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 come. Daddy is here. Stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. Oh, wipe away your tears. Stop crying. You're in your home. Right? So, what is your name? Ujuma. Ujuma. What a lovely name. 
Would you mommy? Come. Stop crying, okay? You are welcome. This is your home. Huh? Uh, Uju, that's my daughter. She will now be your sister. Hmm? Uju, he is your father. Now you know. And his wife. Tell me, you'll be happy staying with them. Yes, I will. Ah! That's good, that's good, that's good. Say that. Make us something good. Say that, say that. Our hearts are on fire, your title so wondrous, feels all our desire. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Mama, no. I'm ready for the stream. Ademma, Chai, when you get to the stream, greet everybody you see there. Oh? If you can't play with them, oh? But Mama, they will avoid me as usual. I know. But try and get close to them. Play with them, relate with them. Try to make them understand that you're not ready to condemn them or even preach to them again. Oh? Play with them, relate with them very well. Because even if you want to convert a pagan, all you need to do is get close to that beggar, relate with that person very well. Remember, Jesus related more with the pagans in the Bible because he actually came for the sinners and not for the righteous. Oh? I've heard you, Mama. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mama, you don't know how happy and proud I am having you as a mother. Please, don't stop being you for me, oh? I won't, my daughter. I won't stop being there for you. Enugu? All right, Mama. All right. Just rush to the stream, fetch water, and come back early, oh? So All that right. we prepare dinner. Okay, Mama. All right. You'll see me soon, oh? All right. Oh! Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Would you? I'm happy you're smiling with me. Be good for me. Oh? Okay. I think I should be leaving now. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. 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 Auntie, I'm going to miss you. <sighs> My dear, I'm going to miss you too. But not to worry. I'll come check up on you time to time. Okay? You'll be coming. Of course. <laughs> it's a promise. I will always come and check up on my little knees. Come on, I can't forget you. But you have to be the good girl that I always brings you to be. Okay? Always be respectful to your father and to your stepmom here. Make me proud. Okay? Okay, I will. Take care of yourself and your family. I will. I will, <laughs> sure. And take good care of yourself too. Okay? Be good. Um, sir. Once again, thank you so much. So please, I would like to ask a favor from you. Please, do take good care of her for me. Always try to correct her if she misbehaves. If possible, beat her up because I really want her to grow up a well-trained girl. Please, sir. Please, ma'am. Help us. <laughs> thank you. Come here. Okay, please send me well to your parents. Okay. And, um, very soon, we'll consider. Okay, no problem. They were here. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Darling, it's all right. Hmm? Thank you, Mom. I assure you, we're going to take good care of her. Ah. Okay? 
<laughs> you are a wonderful woman. <laughs> you are a good woman, a God sent. Thank you so much. You're My God will keep blessing you and your household. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Come All right. here. <laughs> Don't take my wife from me. <laughs> it's alright. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Let's go have some good time. <laughs> Mama. What were you thinking? What were you thinking taking sides with Papa on this? What would you have me do? The deed has been done. Or should I have chased them away? Of course! That is what I expected of you. But you just accepted her wholeheartedly. She is your father's daughter. I don't care! She's a product of sin and licentiousness. Papa committed her sin with her dead mother. So she should have remained with her mother's people. I not come here. Ify, what has come over you? I am surprised you are acting this way. Mama, I am not happy with this decision. So you better send her back. Only by the mercy of God, self-righteousness will lead you nowhere. Mom, I want to apologize for abandoning you once more. I never knew about you till this moment. You need not apologize, Papa. It's so painful that I've lost my mom, who has been taking care of me all these years. And made me to believe that you have died many years ago. I tried imagining or picturing how my father looked like. Since no picture of him was shown to me, May the soul of your mother rest in peace. I pray so. I want to believe that um, she knew I must have been married now. And she didn't want to spoil my home. That's why she kept me a secret to you. Anyway, I'm so glad that I found you, my father. Now, I will stop calling myself a bastard. Huh? You used to call yourself a bastard? Yes, yeah, so. Yes, especially when I'm frustrated that I can't get a hold of my father's memory. <clears throat> but Papa, I'm sorry I thought you were dead. I mourned you several times in my heart. It's okay. I'm here. Your father is alive. I am sorry for everything and I promise I will take good care of you. Not just taking good care of you, I am starting with your education. So, tell me, what class are you? Ifama! What is wrong with your daughter? My daughter? Oh, sorry, sorry. Our daughter. But that is not the answer to my question, and you know it. She is not happy over our decision of keeping the girl. Oh, I should have sent her away. Huh? Is she not her stepsister? I've been trying to make her understand, but she's been difficult. That's strange. I don't even know how to feel about it now. I don't have any reason to be happy with you. But you are lucky. You didn't know about the pregnancy. If not, I would have been in Ifoma shoe, giving it to you very hot. Thank you. Thank you so much for your understanding. Huh? Then, but please, I beg you with everything I have. I need all your support now. I need all your support to pull through. Uju is just but a child. An innocent child. Let us not break her heart more after the death of her mother. Please, I do apologize for everything. My wrong, please. You need to talk to a former. I don't have any problem. After all, what has Diochi 
the palm wine tapa, not seen while on the palm tree. I have to live with it. It's not by your good work. It's only by the mercy of God. Self-righteousness will lead you nowhere. No be by power. No be by mighty. Yo. It's not by your hard work. It's only by the mercy of God. Self righteousness will lead you nowhere. Ah. <laughs> Even understand your point. What is it you don't like about this girl? You want to know, Papa? Yes, I want to know. The fact that you slept the woman you went married to is already a grave sin, and the product of that same sin has suddenly found her way into your home to contaminate it and everyone in it. Is it her fault? Ujuma is innocent. She never asked for this life. She deserved better if I hadn't left her mother. Oh, okay, okay, yes. I, I, I accept I committed sin by sleeping with her mother when I was not married to her. But that was something I did in the past. A mistake I made in the past. It changes nothing, Papa. Your sin found you and all I had expected of you was to send her back to remain with her people. Especially now that you're about giving your life wholeheartedly to God. This is but the devil's plan of denying you heaven. By making you succumb to living with the product of a sin. Will you stop that? Stop it. You know you're scaring me. You know I don't want to go to, I don't want to, go to hell. Then resist the devil and he'll free from you. Resist sin by sending that girl away. So you can maintain a holy life once more. She has no place to go to. She has no place to go to. That her aunt cannot even take good care of her. If only you are pushing me to do something wicked. And she doesn't deserve it. Papa, remember when I told you heavenly race is individual? I have nothing to say to you. This is between you and God. <laughs> My dear, have you eaten the food I kept for you? Yes, I ate but little and I decided to rest. I hope you rested well. Not really. I woke up on hearing your daughter having a squabble with her father. Nem, it seems like she does not want me here. No. It's okay, Mama. If she does not want me here, I can return to my auntie's house. I don't want to bring disunity between you and your daughter. Please. Uh, my dear, come. Please calm down. Hmm? Don't mind Ifoma. Uh, but you know it's not going to be easy for her to accept somebody she never knew as a stepsister. Just give her some time. Hmm? Calm down. Let us give her some time to deal with it. I know she will change. Okay? It's okay if you say, eh, hey, Mama, I need to be busy. Tell me what I can do for you. Any house chores at all? Don't do anything for me. No, Mama. Go and dress. You just came. Mama, it's not in my nature to stay idle. They didn't raise me that way. Just give me any house chores to do. I would do it. Mama, should I help you with the rice? 
If I keep the Ten Commandments, will I go to heaven? Oh no, my daughter is right. I have gravely sinned and deserve no mercy from God. How could I get a woman pregnant and then abandon her to marry another? How can God ever forgive me for this? Why? Why now that I was about giving my life to God? Should I send Ujumwa away like my daughter suggested? No. The poor child has done nothing to me. I am the one who have gravely sinned against God and deserve nothing but death. Yes. It is better I punish myself here on earth than suffer internally in hellfire. Can you see my parents? They went out. Meaning, no one is at home. Yes, except me. So you mean my parents left a total stranger at home? But I'm not a stranger. Will you shut up and mind your business? Do I know you? Have we met before? There's food in the cupboard if you're hungry. Sorry. Forgive me for all these squabbles. Forgive me for the way I spoke to you. I am sorry. Well, Onoche, if this is a means for me to give you the money, <laughs> I don't have it yet. No, no. I'm not asking for the money. In fact, I am glad you never gave me the money. What did you say? I am saying that I know the money is safe with you and I can have it whenever I want it. But for now, you can still keep it. Because I don't want to start a new business anymore. Oh. Well, you, you should have your wife thanked. Uh -huh. Because she was the one that convinced me not to give you the money. As huh? a means of protecting you. <laughs> oh, my lovely wife. Mm. I'm so grateful to her. <laughs> but then I am still thankful to you. Because you knew not giving me this money could severe our friendship. Yet, you held on to the money in a way of protecting me. I am so grateful. You're welcome. But uh, since you're not going into a new business anymore, are you going back to your butcher business? Uh -huh. I am going back to the business. Okay. That's the only business I know how best to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. But <laughs> what changed? What, what happened? Eh? You don't want to go to heaven anymore. My brother. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Something happened that made me change my mind. It made me see the stupidity in what I was doing and how wrong I was going about this Christianity thing. Wow. <laughs> Thank God I'm safe now. Well, to God be the glory. Mm. Thank huh? you so much. I'm grateful. <laughs> Informer, what is the problem? If you Anywhere. 
just outside this vicinity. Why? Mama, are you asking me why? Since you and Papa have decided to contaminate this house with the product of a sin, it's best I leave before I get contaminated too. Informer, stop being childish and silly. Mama, this has nothing to do with childishness. It has everything to do with it. That girl is a human being. What did the Bible say? Accept everyone as one. We are all created by God. Mama, the same Bible said, resist sin, resist unholiness. Otherwise, you will share in their iniquities and recompenses. My dear, that girl is innocent. I don't see what you have against her. Moreover, your father owns this house. He has accepted her as his child. Then, Mama, if that's the case, then I must go. I can no longer stay here. You former? You former? What are you doing here? Nkechi, I've come to see you. I need your help. My help? Please, you have to start going now, for my mom will soon return. She will not find it funny seeing you here. Please, you have to go. Go, go, go. This is between life and death. If you don't help me now, I will risk losing my soul to the devil. What do you want? Um, can I stay with you and your mother for a few days? Just a few days. What? You know that's not possible. Because my mom will not agree to that. That's why I need you to convince her for me. Please, Nkechi. Please. And why do you want to leave home? My dear. My father brought home a sin. A sin that can lead us all to hell. What are you talking about? My husband, eh? where are you off to? To buy meat. I heard Fulani people lost some of their cows to sickness. And they are ready to sell the remaining ones. Sickness? Uh -huh. What kind of sickness? You know, uh, uh, this hammer tank came with lots of sickness. Animal fluid and other things. So I guess the animals contacted it and they are dying. And the heat too, the heat is killing them too. Yeah. Mm. But I thought you said you're done with meat selling business. Uh, 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 we'll talk about that one when I come back. Uh? Yeah. Uh, please be careful. Right, okay. uh, make sure you cut off the head so that the blood will flow out. I hear Don't you. buy dead meat, though. I hear you. Mm, okay. Please, your <laughs> <laughs> please take care. I will see you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So finally, my husband has come back to his senses. God, I thank you. Onyeka will be happy to hear this. You are back? Yes, Mama, I'm back. Did you see your sister at the stream? No. I didn't see her at the stream. Not even on my way. She left here for the stream. Or could she have branched the church or what? It seems she spent more time at the church. <laughs> Ujumwa, you don't know your sister. Don't worry, I will tell you more about her. Hmm? Just drop the bucket. Ah, you've tried. Drop the bucket. Let's go inside. Hmm? Drop it. You have tried. You're welcome. Would you like to eat a uh, chichede or? Ifuma, please. I'm talking to you. Ifuma, if you stop, I'm talking to you. What is it? Now look, please, just leave me alone. 
I should have known not to come to you in the first place. It's obvious I've lost you as a friend. No, please, I... Wait, wait, wait. What am I even saying? It is you that has lost me as a friend. How can I come to you for help and you just turn me down like nobody? You should try and understand my point here. That girl you told me about is your blood. She's your father's child and has every right to stay in that house. You have no reason to be obsessed by her presence. Father, learn to accept her. I have told you this over and over, Nkechi. That girl is a product of sin and I cannot stay under the same roof with her. You should keep that aside and accept her. You have no right to condemn people. Leave such things to God and keep on doing what pleases you. But remember, no one is perfect. No one. Oh, Kechi. You're lost. You're so lost. Whatever happened to the Nkechi that I know? Very pious and dedicated towards attaining heaven. It's sad you have lost me, dear friend. Very sad. Goodbye. My sister, what are you doing here all alone? Is everything all right? You've been crying. Look, just leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Is it about me staying here? You have no reason to be here. I don't know what or who brought you here, but you're not welcomed here. This is my father's house. And my father, the owner of this house, welcomed me to stay. Oh, I see you've grown wings. Do you really want to talk? Do you honestly want to talk? I did not come here for troubles. I came here to make peace. Take that peace elsewhere. It's not needed here. I am my parents' only child and you can't come from God knows where to take that from me. You can't. very difficult connecting with my sister Ifoma. She just doesn't like me. I told you she needs some time. Ne, with the way she spoke to me this afternoon, I'm scared. What did she say to you? Ne, it seems to her that I'm here to steal the love and attention you and my father have for her. I really don't understand her point, but she spoke with much bitterness. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I will talk to her. You know? You know? <sighs> Just give me some time. Let me talk to her. Okay? I am sorry 
for all the harsh words she must have said to you. Hmm? You will remain a member of this family and nothing will change it. Okay? It's alright. Just calm down, okay? Hmm? You mean that stupid girl had the ghost to step her foot into this compound in my absence? Mama, I was surprised to see her, but it's a good thing she came. How? But I warned you to avoid her, didn't I? Mama, at least I had the opportunity of preaching to her today and tried to make her see the errors of her overindulgence and method. And did she listen to you? Did she? Not quite, but she was moved a bit by what I said. She cannot be condemning people and preaching about love when she cannot let her self-sister live in her father's house. Did I hear you say self-sister? The former has a stepsister. Yeah. Hey. Mama, a lot has happened these past few days, according to her. And I'm going to tell you. My husband, you mean you made all this money just from today's sales? This is just a profit. And some people are still with my money. They bought on credit. Meaning mm -hmm. that you made more than this? Yes, sir. Hey, God, I thank you. Mm -hmm. I pray that the next sales will be more than this. Amen. I thank God. And I also thank you, too. Um, I heard what happened. You told my friend not to give me that money. He told me everything. And I am glad because it takes only a brave and wise woman to do that. My husband, our protection is my top priority. Mm. Hmm? Mm. If it, is anything the matter? Anything can be the matter now. Anything can be. Don't mind her. See, maybe she's here to cast aspersion at me. Or maybe remind me how a sinner I am. I no longer care. Mom, I no longer care. Onochie no longer cares. Look, I came to this life alone, and I will die alone. When I die, I will go back to my maker. Let the judgment be between me and my maker, not you. You know. Um, my sweetheart, what uh, this thing you want? I, I need that night. Uh, my sala soup. Sala soup. <laughs> I need it. How much will it? She said she wants to be friends with Ifoma and pleaded with me to take her to you. So that I can do what? You are Ifoma's sister, so you can help her plead with Ifoma. That's absurd. Why would you plead for friendship? No, that's wrong. That's very wrong. Please talk to her. My dear, you don't plead for friendship. When you have people who are willing to become your friends. But I want to make heaven. If Oma is not the one to lead you to heaven, just make Jesus your friend and pray to him all the time. He will surprise you. Also, become a good child to your parents and I'm sure you will make heaven. What are you doing in my slippers? Is it this one I'm wearing? How dare you? You said you don't have your own slippers. You now wear mine. I'm sorry. I don't have a casual slippers. I didn't even know it was yours. Please, I'm sorry. Now you listen to me. Henceforth, let me not... Ever, and I mean ever see with anything that belongs to me in this house. Never you touch what is mine in this house. Never. Are you listening to me? Rubbish.
Would you want? You are still here. I feel more comfortable outside here. No, don't say that. How can you be more comfortable outside? This is your home. Hmm? So relax. You know? If you had told me you don't have a casual slippers, I would have gotten it for you before now. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ne. I'm sorry, Ne. I didn't want to disturb you since my sister has a casual slippers. Ujumwa, if you need anything, tell me. You know? Okay, Ne, I've heard. But why would Ifoma treat me this way? I am sorry. It was wrong for her to force the slippers off your legs. I will talk to her when she returns home. That was heartless and unfair. Why would she do a thing like that? Because of ordinary slippers. It's all right. Hmm? Okay, mm -hmm. But you are going to do me a favor. What? Don't allow your father to hear about this. Hmm? I don't want him to get mad at my daughter. Ne. I wasn't going to tell Papa. Good. In as much as what she did was painful, she is my sister and I forgive her. Oh. Would you mom? You are my daughter. Ifoma, what is wrong with you? I've been keeping calm over the way you've been treating your stepsister ever since she arrived here. I don't like it. Mama, she has no right to touch my things. Shut up! Will you shut up, you fool? I don't care what has come over you. Let this be the last one I'm going to warn you about that girl. If your Bible teaches you to condemn strangers, mine teaches me to welcome them so that they will share in our peace. But mother, can't you see what she's up to? She wants to bring this unity into this once peaceful family. And you allow her. Then mind your business. If I'm a mind your business, if you cannot associate with her, eh? Don't give me reason to deal with you as my only child. Go and thank her. Thank her that she did not tell your father about this. If not, by now, your father would have thrown you out of this house. Be careful. What are you doing my clothes? The clothes were dirty, so I decided to wash them. It's not your business. You have started again in this house, so oh. Ujumwa, avoid me in this house. Avoid me. Hmm. But sister, the clothes were dirty. Was it your business? See, I have warned you before and I'm warning you again. Stay away from my things in this house. Let me have them. But sister, I was only assisting. I didn't ask for your assistance. Just know that as long as you're in this house, I'm going to make your life a living hell. I've been observing how you behave towards your sister. Papa, she's not my sister. I will slap you if you don't shut up your mouth. What's wrong with you? Huh? Listen, I will not tolerate you showing any sign of disrespect to your sister. She's your older sister for crying out loud. But Papa, all I asked of her was to stay away from me and my things. I don't see anything difficult in that. Why? Why is it so difficult for you to accept this girl into this house? Eh? What has she done to you? Papa, I'm disappointed that you've decided to embrace sin. And, and what? You should be disappointed in yourself for being so bitter. Huh? You are just the opposite of what your Bible preach. Love. Love. Love before my love. But Papa, she was brought here without my...
my consent. And I'm being forced to accept her as a sister. Even when I'm not ready to have anyone as a sibling. Papa, as far as I'm concerned, she's not my sister. You must be mad for speaking to me in that manner. You must be mad. Come on, leave this place. Leave this place. But, but Papa, you've never raised your hand on me before. Oh, the first. If you don't change, I'll keep doing it. Where do I really go from here? Should I go to the church? Hmm. I don't think Father Richard or even the seminarian will let me stay. They would want to know why I left the house and then try returning me home. But I don't want to go back to that house since it's obvious my father has no love for me anymore. I wish I can just leave and never come back. Where do I go to now? My daughter. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma. What about my friend Ifoma? Oh. You still call Ifoma my daughter your friend? Mama, she has never stopped being my friend, no matter what happened. <sighs> well, she's there creating an enmity between her stepsister and herself. She told me about it. She even came to our house seeking to stay there for a while, that she wants to be away from home. You see? I don't know what has come over Ifoma. She's been avoiding everybody, especially her stepsister. I don't know why she finds it so difficult to accept that innocent girl. Mama, I tried advising her, but she got angry and left. My daughter, please, keep advising her. I don't know what Ifoma is turning into. I am even planning to stop her from going to that church. Yes! Since that church is doing more harm to her than good. No, Mama. You don't have to stop her. Let her continue with church. Only what she needs right now is constant advice on how to live her life. And reminding her of love, which was what Christ preached about in the Bible. It's all right, please. Keep talking to her. Biko, oh? Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, take care, eh? Oh. Greet your mother for me, you know? Oh, bye-bye. Oh. I got this for you from the market. Wow! This is nice! Thank you so much! <laughs> the colorful design is what attracted me to it. It's beautiful! You like it? Yes! Okay, you know what you're going to do now? Go inside. Put it on. Let me see how it looks like on you. Okay, I'm going. Carry the bag, carry the bag. Put it inside. What of my sister's clothes? Don't worry. I got this just for you. Hmm? Your sister has a lot of clothes. How can I wear a new dress when my sister is not doing the same? <laughs> oh, Jungwa. Mama, maybe you should give her this one I'm holding. Then buy for me later. 
It seems you like this your sister so much. Hmm? But it's sad she's not doing the same. But don't worry. I know she will change. Oh? Go and put it on. Tomorrow I will buy one for her. You know? Eh? Go and wear it. <laughs> Go and wear it. Let me see how it looks like now. <laughs> hey. Welcome back, sister. Well, you mean you shouldn't be the one to be leaving. I'm supposed to leave. Then leave. Leave us alone, you product of sin. Leave. My life was better here. And I was at peace with my God before you came. What do you want in the kitchen? I'm here to see you. I'm busy. You can go and come back anytime you like. Ify, I want us to go speak with the seminarian. I believe Brother Israel is in the best position to advise you about this. Brother Israel knows the Bible more than we do as a clergy. So you will just end up disgracing yourself taking this matter to him. Because he will remind you how terribly you've lost touch with your Bible. Ifoma. I'm not saying my advice to you is right, but let's hear from the seminarian. Look, don't ever think I'm against you for once. You're still my friend, whether you believe it or not. So, I care. I really do. Nkechi, there can never be peace within my soul. As long as I continue associating myself with sinners like my parents and their stepdaughter. That's why I wanted to leave. Because I never imagined before now that anything would ever come in between my quest for heaven. So just leave. I don't want to see any seminarian. Mama, you called. Your sister said you refused to eat. That's because I'm not hungry, Mama. You are not hungry. You have not eaten since last night. Or are you fasting? No, Mama. Ifoma, I am surprised and disappointed the way you behave. So if I send your sister out of this house, you will be happy. Then you will make heaven, isn't it? I am asking you. Mama, I don't know what to say, because I sincerely don't know what you want me to say. I am surprised and disappointed the way you behave. If Christianity is all about this, eh? Yeah? I'll better be a pagan. Now get out of my sight. Get out from here! Get out! Keep punishing yourself for nothing. Nonsense. <laughs> Honestly, I am enjoying it. I know you will like it. Mm. You are indeed a good cook. I wish I could take the credit, but I'm not the one that prepared it. Huh? I've never had it this fantastic. Tell me you're joking. 
I wish I am. But I am not joking. It's your daughter that prepared it. Who? Ujumwa. Ujumwa? Yes, Papa. You prepared this meal? Yes, Papa. <laughs> I never knew you were this fantastic. Oh, I now have a daughter who is excellent. Fantastic. Darling Nemo. Thank you, Papa. Well done. You see what I was telling you? Eh? Teach this girl how to cook. If you had done that by now, she would have perfected it. But each time I said, do this, you kept saying she is still too young. Look at it. Is this not her meat? I know. Don't worry, I will start teaching her. I know she will learn soon. Better. Mm Tabo. -hmm. Tabo. Mm -hmm. Teach her. Look at how delicious. Hey! God, what am I doing? Oh no, this is not me. This is not right. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Onochi, hmm? do you know Everybody is speaking well about that, your daughter. Oh, um, you mean Ujumwa? Who else? You think I'm referring to your daughter, Mwa Jesus? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> insult my daughter for me. But sincerely, everybody said her character is very, very annoying. Let me tell you, if I didn't know you better, I would say she's not from your lines. She is just an opposite of Ujumwa. Honestly, honestly, I don't know what is wrong with her. I am only believing God for a change. Unlike Ujumwa. Ujumwa came with joy, happiness to my wife and I. She's full of cheerfulness and she's hard working. She doesn't have problem with anybody except her sister Ifoma, who I don't know what is wrong with. Do you know what? Please encourage Ujumwa to keep it up. It's very rare to see a girl the whole village likes this much. Simply means she's behaving well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you will do? Mm -hmm. I think you should start buying Ujumwa gifts. Eh? Maybe that will make it for her to change. Yes. Okay. Yes, Thank you. But that's not why we're here. So yes. Being the good guy you are. Thank you so much, Papa. You're welcome, my daughter. Papa, I will never disappoint you. Never. It's okay. I have confidence in you. I am so, so proud of you, and I'm sure you'll make me proud. Sister, see what Papa bought for us.
Thank you, Poma. Hey, Poma. Where is she? It seems she's not around. But this is unlike her because she's always around and has no friend to visit. Well, when you see her, just tell her that I want to see her. It's very urgent. Okay? I will, sir. All right. Thank you so much for coming me to see her. All right. Let's go. Parents, they'll be so disappointed in me. Please, I beg of you. I don't know what came over me. Unity between you and your parents. I can't stay here while you live in perpetual bitterness. But if I don't worry, we are not from the same mother. I just only totally understand why you don't want me to stay here. But please tell Papa when he returns. And please tell him I'm sorry. But you don't know your way back. I don't worry. It is not far from here at all. It's not far. Please just tell Papa I'm sorry. <laughs> Suicide. I did not so say I had to tell me it's connection with my presence in your father's house. But Uju, that's your father's house too. And you're welcome to stay there for as long as you want. Ify, you deserve your parents' love and attention more than I do. It hurts me to believe I'm the one standing in your way to a peaceful and a happy upbringing. I just have to go. Uju. Please, I beg of you, don't go. Papa will be so devastated to discover that you're gone and will blame me for it. I don't want him to be sad. He's my father. And I still care about his feelings. Would you? I'm sorry if 
I've made your stay horrible. But I'm willing to change. Just please, don't go. Please. If Mama, you try to kill your life. I know. That was foolish and selfish of me. But please, would you return home? My dear sister, please. We've all been in situations when we have done wrong and desire forgiveness, either from a spouse, a friend, or even a family member. Sometimes, the person we need forgiveness from is ourselves. And there are times when someone is asking for forgiveness, and we have to look deeply into ourselves to offer it with no strings attached. I know this is hard, but this is what the Bible teaches. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as Christ forgave you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 says, For if you forgive people when they sin against you, our Heavenly Father will also forgive you. God says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, That we should bear with each other. Forgive one another. If any of us has grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. We are saying thank you Jesus. Thank you my Lord. We are saying thank you Jesus. Thank you my Lord. We are saying thank you Jesus. Thank you my Lord. We are saying Tell me you are this good with the Bible. I mean, I was surprised hearing you preach to our parents today. Oh, well, I attended the Bible class and I came out best in my set. Really? That's interesting. Aren't you full of surprises? Do you know? I've never really preached to my parents the way you just did. Well, you should be doing that from time to time. You're right. I guess I occupied my mind with a lot of things. Forgetting that my parents also need the message of salvation. So you said you came out best in your Bible class set? Yes. <sighs> Well, I doubt that. Let's see how well you know the Bible. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Wow. Okay. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of the people who loves him who have been called according to his purpose Who are you?
My sister, I know you're hungry, but the food will soon be done. Not really. I was actually thinking of joining you in the kitchen. Joining me? I mean, for you to teach me how to cook. I really don't know anything when it comes to cooking. Why? I'm always busy studying the Bible. Whenever my mother calls upon me to assist her in the kitchen. I spend most of my time away from house chores. Well, I think it's never too late for someone to learn how to cook. You really think I can be a good cook like you? You have me, sis. I would do the magic for you at no cost. All you need to do is to watch me carefully while I prepare this meal. Thank you so much, Uju. I wonder what I was thinking, chasing you away all this while. You are indeed a blessing, and the very person I need in my life right now. I'm so happy you finally accept me. Thank you so much. Do you know how I've been dying, looking for someone I can genuinely call my sister? Thank you. Take this into the backyard, eh? Hmm? Arrange it very well. Remove all these leaves. Hmm? Oh, yeah. If you like, finish it. I also apologize for my misdoings and misgivings in this house. Especially since Uju came. I have been stupid and unreasonable. I was so engulfed with keeping commandments and other instructions in the Bible that I didn't know when I started pushing away people from my life. I started condemning and seeing myself as the holiest in this village. My friends left me because of that. And I thought I was the only righteous person around. But I realized I was wrong. And recently humbled by someone I never expected. Please forgive me, for I have not been a good child. My daughter, I am very surprised that this is coming from you. If I hadn't known you, I wouldn't believe this is my daughter. Mom, do you know I almost committed suicide? Just because of the way you were condemning all my actions, you made me believe I was the worst sinner on earth. I am sorry about all that, Papa. I was so selfish. I tried committing suicide as well. But I was stopped by my sister here. And right there, it dawned on me how stupid and selfish I have become. I wanted to kill myself, to avoid associating myself with people I saw as sinners. Forgetting that suicide is a mortal sin. 
that was stupid. And by being selfish, I didn't care how my death would affect the people close to me. I'm sorry. This happened in this house without my knowledge. Well, I am happy you have realized your mistakes. And today is not late for you to make a meet. May I ask you, who is the person responsible for this sudden and tremendous change? She is none other than the one person God sent to remind me how I failed him and to change my ways. She is indeed a child of God with greater knowledge of the scripture, yet so humble. My beloved sister, would you? happy for you. Thank you. times for you at your house, but you weren't there. I even spoke to the seminarian on your behalf and you followed me to your house, but you weren't around. Um, I actually saw you coming with him and I hid. I thought I was doing the right thing by avoiding everyone, but I've realized my mistakes now. So I'm here with my stepsister to apologize to you. Is she your stepsister? Yes. God changed me through her and gave me another chance to reconcile with people and amend my ways. I'm sorry for all I said to you in Keshi and how I misbehaved. Ifi, I'm happy to hear this. You're back. My friend is back. But I can't believe I almost ruined our friendship by calling you a sinner. Ne. Hmm. She condemns people and treats everybody as sinners. Even me, oh. Well, you wouldn't blame her. She actually forgot that most of the saints we're looking up to were worst of sinners in their lifetimes. Let's talk about Apostle Paul, who was once a sadist and a murderer soul. King David, too. Moses, Simon Peter, Tama, Jonah, and so many. Wow, you speak like a Bible class student. Eh? Nkechi, this my sister right here is a Bible encyclopedia on her own. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you need to get to know her. Oh, you're cracking pump kernel. It hasn't been long I touched one of these. Can I join? Oh, feel free, let me get you a seat. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry for ever snobbing you girls. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. I'm willing to become your friend if you can forgive me. 
I'm serious. She's right. She's a changed person now. Please, give her a chance. Please. Guys, going to our house. Okay, let's go. Saying you prepared this meal? No, I know your style of cooking. It's good though, but not like that of Ujumu. Look at this man. Oh. Are you saying I don't know how to cook or what? No, say that. You're a very good cook. But <laughs> you see that Ujumu's own. So delicious. Okay. It's not Ujumu that prepared the food. How do you mean? This food you are enjoying was specially prepared by Ifoma, and she did that alone. It's a lie. That's not possible. How can I lie with such a thing? She prepared this. Ujuma taught her, and she's a fast learner. Believe me, she prepared it. You mean Ifoma, my daughter, prepared this food? She did. Hey! God, I thank you for blessing me to wonderful daughters. Two daughters I can be proud of. It's okay. <laughs> My husband is all right. <laughs> It's just to tell you that nothing is impossible for God. Anything he cannot do does not exist. You are lucky to have them in your life. Even me, your beloved wife, who would give all the love in the whole world to you. It's all right. <laughs> it's only by the mercy of God, self-righteousness will lead you nowhere. Not be by. 
by power, no be by mighty, yo. Adige me anike, it's not by your hard work. It's only by the mercy of God, self-righteousness will lead you nowhere. Oh